Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I created a flower wreath a painting using watercolour paints. With all my illustrations I actually start by putting the watercolour on first and I do this by layering up colours. When you use watercolours you have to paint lightly because once the colour is on you can't go back and get rid of it. You can't paint over it. So I paint on all the lighter colours and build up the darker tones. The inspiration for this piece were, was this peacock feather that I've used. Um, and I took the blue tones from the peacock feather to create some other blue flowers and some green vegetation coming through. My top tip for painting watercolour would be that less is more. You don't want to put too much paint onto the paper, otherwise it overloads it and it becomes too much. You want to build up the colours gradually and once they're dry you can layer them on top of each other. But you can't do that if you put too much dark colour in at once. So that's why I start with the lighter tones and build it up and gradually build up those darker tones. It helps to have the tissue paper by the side and that is where I reduce some of the colour on my brush um, and test how much water and how much paint is on there before I go and put it on my piece. It's all about a builder. When I create a shape such as a leaf I use a darker green to create the outline of the leaf and then I get the water on my brush and blend that colour out. My trick with my illustrations is that I use different medias, I, I mix medias together. So I don't just use the watercolour, that's the first layer. Once I'm happy with the watercolour layer, I then use a dark pen to, to sketch in those dark tones and create some definition around some of the shapes. And then I use a light pen, a white pen to get those highlights. I use the tissue paper on the side to get rid of the excess colour to make sure that I'm not going to be overloading the piece and to ruin it with those dark tones. Once I'm finished with the watercolour, I let it dry and then I go to work in pen. This is where I add the really dark tones with the pen and the shadows and just go around um, the leaves to give them definition. I use my white acrylic paint pen to add some white highlights over the dark tones. This really makes it pop at the end. At the end I add just a little bit of gold paint. This is my signature technique and you can see it in most of my illustrations. It finishes the piece off beautifully and it catches your eye when you look at it. Thanks so much for watching and thank you all for your support. If you'd like to support me further, you can like this video, you can subscribe to my channel or you can check out Lissy Art on Instagram.